when the temperature is very high we sprinkle water because water has large latent heat of vaporization the loudness and pitch of a sound depends on both intensity as well as frequency continuing with the next question now the question says there is a battery of variable number of identical cells battery which has variable number of identical cells battery is a collection of cells each having internal resistance r connected in series so the cells are connected in series the terminals of the battery are short circuited the terminals of the battery are short circuited now a graph of current i in the circuit versus the number of cells has to be shown so the problem says there is a battery which is a large collection of cells the cells are connected in series they have internal resistance which is r they are connected in series and the terminals are short circuited therefore in series we see that i equals n emf n internal resistance which means here current is independent of the number of cells current does not depend on the number of cells so the correct graph depicting this situation is the third one where current remains the same irrespective of the number of cells the next one we have already solved this beat frequency mel prashna ide filing the prongs of a tuning fork will increase its frequency waxing the prongs will decrease the frequency the answer is 316 hertz next one when the length of the vibrating segment of a sonometer wire length of that vibrating segment loop anta karidwala sonometer experimentally is increased by 1% what is the percentage change in its frequency a vibrating segment do length na 1 percentage increase madidre what happens to the frequency recall the expression for fundamental frequency of vibrations of a string f is 1 by 2l root t by m what was root t tension applied to this string m 
ಇದನ್ನ ಮಾಸ್ ಪರ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೆದ್ವಿ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಎಫ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಎಫ್ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಟೂ ಇಸ್ ಅ ನಂಬರ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಎಲ್ ಬೈ ಎಲ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಟಿ ಬೈ ಟಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ರೂಟ್ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಎಂ ಬೈ ಎಂ ಸೊ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಎರರ್ ಇರ್ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಆಪರೇಷನ್ ಅಡಿಷನ್ ಆಗಿರಬಹುದು ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆಗಿರಬಹುದು ಡಿವಿಷನ್ ಆಗಿರಬಹುದು ಎರರ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ದ ಸಮ್ change in length is given 1% change in tension is not mentioned change in mass per unit length is not mentioned so it is 1% the sprinkling of water reduce slightly the temperature of a closed room when the temperature is very high we sprinkle water because water has large latent heat of vaporization now the equation of a simple harmonic wave is given by y equals 5 sin pi by 2 100t minus x i have to calculate the period of the wave first i compare it with the standard equation y is a sin omega t minus kx anywhere from this can i plug out the time period omega so when you compare omega is 100 pi by 2 so this 100 pi by 2 is omega which is 50 pi what is omega in terms of time period 2 pi by capital t is 50 pi so we have t has to be calculated on simplification 0.04 should be the answer the loudness and pitch of a sound depends on both intensity as well as frequency for ordinary terrestrial experiments the observer in an inertial frame in the following cases andre given the following cases which of them describe inertial frame what are the features of inertial frame newton's first law has to be valid and it has to be non accelerated one the frame of reference na inertial frame and consider madidre alli newton's first law valid agirbeku jothege acceleration zero agirbeku body should move with a constant speed child revolving in a joint wheel circular motion acceleration comes into picture no pilot of an aeroplane which is taking off 
Initially, it moves with minimum velocity, then increases its speed. It is accelerated. Cyclist negotiating a curve. Centripetal force is coming into picture. There is acceleration towards the center. No. Driver in a sports car moving with constant high speed. Speed is constant. Acceleration is not possible. So this is the non-accelerated frame. Again, this is from the previous syllabus. We don't discuss it in detail. If there was no gravity, which of the following will not be there for a fluid? In the absence of gravity, the fluid wouldn't have Archimedes upward thrust that upward force the force exerted by the fluid on the surface is absent so without gravity Archimedes upward thrust is not possible the next problem in a LCR series circuit the potential difference between the terminals of the inductor is 60 volts potential difference across the inductor is 60 volts across the capacitor is 30 volts and across the resistance is 40 volts. Then what is the supply voltage equal to? So here the supply voltage will be supply voltage and the resultant voltage in Tartha. So this is Vr square plus Vl minus Vc whole square. So Vr resistance is 40. So 1600 plus Vl minus Vc 30. So this is root of 2500. So which has to be 50 volts. When deuterium and helium are subjected to an accelerating field, both of them are neutral particles. Deuterium as helium, they are neutral. They don't possess any charge. So both of them are not accelerated. So neither of them get accelerated. A solenoid 1.5 meter long and 0.4 in diameter possesses 10 turns per centimeter length. So, number of turns per is equal to 10 turns per centimeter length or 1000 per meter length. If there are 10 turns per centimeter length, there has to be 1000 turns per meter length. So in the axis, B is mu naught N into I. What is the value of mu naught? 4 pi into 10 power minus 7. Number of turns 1000, 3 thakultini. Current is 5. So this is 20 pi into 10 power minus 4 
or we have 2 pi into 10 power minus 3. Next one. A wire PQR. Now observe. PQ is parallel to the magnetic field. So this portion PQ is parallel to the magnetic field. So PQ is parallel to the field which means theta is 0 degrees. So what is the force exerted on this conductor? Yes, we have F equals BIL sin theta. Theta is 0 which means F is equal to 0. So in the first case force acting is 0. Now QR is perpendicular to the field. QR is perpendicular which means theta is 90 degrees. So here F is BIL sin 90 is 1. So the answer is 0 and BIL. A choke is preferred to a resistor for limiting AC's current because here there is no wastage of power. Power dissipation zero agirate. Choke doesn't consume power. Well as resistor will consume. Again. Current of 6 ampere. This is the circuit given. I will have to find the value of I1 and I2. I apply KCL to the point P. At this point, KCL, sum of the currents I1 plus I2 should be equal to 6. KCL, current law. KVL to the loop. P, Q, R, P. Current is flowing here. I assume this is the direction. So both of them opposite. So minus 2 I1. Minus 2 I1. This is in the same direction. Plus 2 I2. There is no EMF given in the circuit, no battery in the circuit, so it is equal to 0. Minus 4 I1 plus 2 I2 is 0 or minus 2 I1 plus I2 is 0 or 2 I1 minus I2 is 0. I call this as equation 1. This is equation 2. Add equations 1 and 2. I2 gets cancelled. 3 I1 is equal to 6. I2 is 2. Substitute the sorry I1 is 2. Substitute the value of I1. I2 becomes 6 minus 2, 4. So the answer is 2 amps and 4 amps. To a germanium, equal number of aluminium and indium atoms are added. So it becomes a P-type semiconductor. Already done in the previous class. So, 4 volts will be the answer. 2014 session, please refer. Which of the following graphs represents the variation of particle momentum 
associated with De Broglie wavelength. He is asking which of these graphs will give a correct relationship between momentum and De Broglie wavelength. So we know De Broglie wavelength is H divided by P. Planck's constant divided by particle momentum, which means De Broglie wavelength is inversely related to momentum. So, since it is inversely related, the nature of the graph has to be a rectangular hyperbola. And the fourth option is the answer. The term liquid crystal refers to a state of intermediate between crystalline solid and amorphous solid. So we know R is equal to, yeah, R naught. Firm is constant, a to the power 1 by 3. So, r1 by r2 is a1 by a2 to the power 1 by 3. a1 is 64, 125 to the power 1 by 3. So, cube roots. So, 4 by 5. So, the answer has to be 4 by 5. So, in this session, students, you have seen the paper is so easy that a bit of knowledge, you can analyze it very clearly. The next session, we will come back with the 2005 paper. Until then, have a nice time. Thank you.